Hey guys, in this video is going to be checking out the Iper Cordless Robotic Pool Cleaner by right now. In terms of quality these are all kinds of customer reviews and price reductions, I have reviewed this needs Iper Cordless Robotic Pool Cleaner based on personal opinion by verifying the market value. You can more information about this product and an updated price, check out in the video description link, ok? So start. The Iper Seagull 3000 is a battery-powered robot for your pool. Its powerful vacuum and drive motors keep both the floor and walls clean and since it drags its own floating battery around, it can get to every corner of your pool, design and features. The Iper Seagull 3000 is a self-contained pool cleaning robot that provides everything you need. The main unit seen here houses the drive motors, cleaning and propulsion tracks, and internal debris baskets, from the side, you can see the large handle. The blue power umbilical that exits the left side, and that the top is split into four and aft halves, the battery is enclosed in a waterproof floating capsule that it is easily pulled behind the robot when it's cleaning. The battery module has a built-in handle to make getting it in and out of the water easy. It also houses the manual controls and charge port. On the left, you can see the LED indicators for floor, wall, and all floor and walls. The mode button switches between those three cleaning scenarios. The start button begins a session while the on and OFF buttons do what you think they would. The charge port is in the top right in this photo. It's a keyed connector that matches the corresponding connector on the power cord back to the robot. The handle pivots up and can lay all the way over to the front as well. The large size doubles to serve as ballast as it climbs walls. Down below you can see the PVC brushes along with the softer smooth tracks that provide the propulsion while the vacuum pulls the robot against the floor or walls through the two rectangular ports near the center. The clear belts on the left and right provide the drive and can operate individually allowing the robot to turn in place, inside are the two debris baskets that catch everything vacuumed from the bottom of your pool. Both are the same and can fit either side, but they are asymmetric and have to be placed in a specific orientation setup. First thing is to connect the wall charger to the unit and to a wall outlet. The indicator on the power adapter will turn red and stay that way until fully charged at which point it will turn green. The approximate charge time is 4 to 5 hours. As you would suspect, the unit is only to be charged after removal from the pool. Do not try to charge while cleaning. Iper makes other corded models if you think you need power connected while cleaning. While that's charging is the perfect time to download the Iper app. You'll be able to use the Seagull 3000 without it but won't have the ability to drive it remotely which you'll need if you want to avoid getting wet when it's time to get it out of the pool. In the app you'll find three tabs across the bottom, cleaning mode, battery gauge, and manual mode. Click on the Bluetooth logo in the upper left and you'll get the fourth screen below, where you'll find your specific seagull once you turn it on. Click on the name to connect. There are two locks that hold the top doors closed. Slide those to the unlocked position to open the top, inside, if you remove the debris baskets you can see a foam block in the below picture. There are two of these installed, and two extras provided. When you first use the seagull in your pool, if it's not surfacing properly to get to the top of the walls, you may need to install one or both of the extras, on the underside of the center beam to get some extra buoyancy. Performance, out of the gate, the Iper Seagull 3000 robot pool cleaner is pretty easy to use. The first step is to place it into the water while holding the handle and then angle it slightly to help water enter while the air escapes. It's not heavy, but it is a two-handed operation that shifts your balance in a way that can be a little awkward until you're used to it. The seagull will start to sink and you'll want to free up the blue umbilical to let it reach the bottom. On the floating battery, press the on button, then the start button, and then place the battery into the water. The seagull will start its routine and clean the floor, walls, or both depending on the mode you selected. Here's a video showing all of that. It's kind of fun to watch it work. It cruises along, climbs the walls to the waterline, then back down sometimes parachuting, sometimes just reversing direction. It's also completely silent until it breaches the surface of the water, which is either a gentle gurgle or the occasional gasp of air depending on the velocity it came up the wall. I ended up mounting my GoPro on it to get a seagull's eye view. The pool has a bit of an unusual shape in that the round spa interrupts one wall of the deep end creating a convex curve in the pool while the shallow end has a corner and Baja shelf which creates a 90 degrees drop off about a third of the way in from the left. 
So any kind of pool cleaner has to deal with a lot of surface variation, complex curves, and corners in addition to a few random steps. In this blurry photo, you can see that shape along with the pump-driven cleaner, with the hose that attaches to the trap in the deep end. The Iper Seagull 3000 robot pool cleaner does a pretty good job, but the surface of the water does not get as clean, because the hose uses the suction from the trap to function. When running the Seagull 3000, it's doing its own thing and, if my pump is on to cycle water from the spa into the pool, the trap suction is pulling anything from the surface so together I'm getting a better result. To get it out of the pool you'll want to use your phone to remotely drive it up the wall of your choice. If we call the Iper logo the front of the Seagull, then the up arrow on the control moves it in that direction. A single press on up or down starts it moving in those directions. Left or right arrows have to be pressed and held while the robot turns in said direction, stopping when you release. When the robot breaches the waterline, grab the handle, hit pause on your phone control to stop the drive, and set your phone to the side. Start to lift the robot out of the water while using your other hand to tilt it forward to empty it of water. It's pretty heavy otherwise and the water will just dump after you set it poolside, so it's easier to leave the water in the pool. What's in the box, Iper Seagull 3000 Robot Pool Cleaner, floating battery and controls, tethered to Seagull, two debris baskets, inside the Seagull, additional buoyancy squares, quick start guide, hardware specs, suction power, 120W of suction, cleaning, dual PVC roller brushes and two filter baskets, battery, 7800 mAh provides 120 minutes, max pool size, 3200 square FT, connectivity, Bluetooth and mobile app.